about possessive nouns, okay? We were, t we were just discussing how possessive nouns show belonging or show that someone has ownership of something, right? So we're going to talk about singular nouns and we're going to talk about apostrophe S. So let's take a look at the word, these words, singular. We have aunt, father, city, and chair, right? So if I wanted to show that a cat and a keys and a name and a legs belong to some, to these folks, here's how it would work, right? It would be my aunt's cat, right? What did we add to that? What did we add? Everyone. Apostrophe S, right? Because it's one singular aunt. My father's keys. What did we add? My city's name. Whose name is it? My city's. The chair's legs. How many chairs? One chair, right? What if I wanted to show a group of chairs, multiple chairs, and all the legs belonging to that group? How would I then spell it? Rocco Rakowski! Spell it. Multiple chairs in their legs. Is that right, Rakowski? Now it's S apostrophe. When you see S apostrophe, are we singular or plural? Every, everyone, are we singular or plural? Plural. plural. There we go. All right, ready? Let's take a look. It says, read the sentence, look at the bold noun, and write the possessive form on the line. Yesterday was my school career day. Uh-oh, we got to fix that. What should it be? Give me the spelling print. Go. My yesterday was my school career day. What what should that say? My school. Go ahead, Brent. What is it? S C H O O L apostrophe S. Now read it with that with the correct stuff, Brent. Go. Yes, apostrophe S there. Yes, very good. All right, you guys know what you're doing for that. Excellent. All right, so let's take a look at eight now. Now we're talking about, now we're talking about shows belonging, a possessive noun showing belonging to a group or a plural noun. Are you ready, Noah Case? Here we go, bro. We're talking about showing possession, Noah, to a group of students, a group of workers, uh, multiple schools. And multiple books. All right. Now let's take a look. Ready? Let's zoom right in. My, the students' desks. What did we do here to show multiple students? What is it? It's what? Say it. S apostrophe. Very good. How about the workers' tools? We're not talking about one worker. We're talking about a big group. Uh, what is it? How about the schools' classrooms? S apostrophe. How about the books titles? S apostrophe. How many books? More than one. Multiple, right? All right. So read the sentence. Complete the sentence with the plural possessive form of the word or, or words in the box, right? Ready? Check it out. The blank names are the Jets and the Hawks. We have how many teams, Rocco? All right. So how do we show possession of the names? Of two teams. Spell teams for me. Spell it. Spell it, Rocco. Uh-oh. If I did apostrophe S, Rocco, how many teams? How many teams would there be, Rocco? No, no, no. How many teams would there be if I just put apostrophe S? One. We, we want to show many. So what do we need to do again? No. We want to do... S apostrophe. apostrophe. That what you meant? All right, Rock. Let's try another one. Ready, Rocco? The blank names are Coach Hill and Coach Miller. Spell it. That a boy. All right, you guys know what you're doing here. All right, get after it. 
There's your possessive nouns. Seven and eight, Tadero out.